just want to be there when the morning light explodes. Or is it something maybe you just think of it? It's just something to say in order to get away with saying something, but they know they're saying something every time they say it. We had a plan, Jerry, to wait to have children until we could buy an apartment, to put 25% of each paycheck into a separate joint account with a six and a quarter interest for five years. Donna, you only just started getting regular paychecks. And... Why didn't you tell my mother about the business loan you and John took out without asking me? I want to be a real estate agent showing other people apartments to buy them. Let's have a baby, la la la, in a 5-4 walk-up. You can't act like everything's just going to work out by itself. People have babies with no money all the time. See what? I know what you're really saying. That's what you're really saying, isn't it? What if this is all there is to our life? We're a married couple who own a limo company who may or may not have children. I want you to leave if you want to leave. Really? I kind of thought deep down you really love me. The longer it takes you to make your fortune, the less sexy and charming you are, honey. My mother said it was a mistake marrying you because I loved you too much. I don't want to make any mistakes. Well, you're in the wrong species. Oh, oh. shit. You okay? Shit, no. Uh. I'll tell you what, someone should get a light that side of the bed. It's ridiculous. We forgot those Thanksgiving decorations. Where do you want me to put them? Patricia, in the uh, skinny closet. I was a little nervous. Jerry told me, relax. Do you think I need to be? Well, this is your home, too. The job makes you cranky at home every bloody day anyway. Why do I have to be the responsible? If you're killed, you're old. And all because of the man that is no gives you dreams. You need the job is there when you're ready. Do you think it'll be all right if I stop my life right here? Become the Miss Haversham of the Lower East Side. Oh. Losing your mind is not a luxury for the middle class. I've written you letters. Letters that will be coming to you all sorts of ways. Letter number one will be arriving tomorrow. So, for starters, I want you to get dolled up and just go out and celebrate tonight. Well, if you need any help with that, let me know. I've never been too happy, and I'm not too beautiful. The best friend that my ex-fiancé slept with was my ex-ex-fiancé, and she was my business partner, and we started the business with my money. Do you think that you're going to ever find another woman to love? In a moment where a 30-year-old body does not recover quite as fast as a 29-year-old body. But I told him we're going to start next week. No, I was planning on staying in bed and dying today. <laughs> Save yourself bruises and buy yourself a bedside lamp. And remember, a disco diva must look her best. You'll need it for when my next letter comes. And I know you hate your job, but I'll help. Look for a sign. P.S. I love you. Um, um, I can go now. I still know you are around. Ted, Sharon says there's another offer on the table and we have to move on this. One of those things that, you know, um, uh, cling back and forth. But you would never have the guts to do something like this. I was mad at him because our apartment was too small. It's so stupid. Baby. I thought it was because I thought that I deserved the best. And he's out there. Where have you been? With all the wrong women. Look. If you ever just want to get out, just do anything. Just I'll wait for your call. Maybe we can defy God and go see a Yankees game. Friends joined by self-pity, bitterness, and vomit. Make some space in that bloody apartment for yourself. I mean, you bring me to an Irish famine memorial and we're eating corned beef sandwiches. Okay. That's pretty sick. Jerry, Jerry thought it was the best way to honor the dead. I'm starting to get a little bit sick of it. That's a real honest-to-goodness couple right there. Feel free to look through stuff if there's anything in Jerry's you want. So I don't understand. You're taking a vacation? Thought you two were spending time together. What do you mean? It's not healthy. Jerry's not going to be able to keep this up forever, is he? But his death is a part of your life now, and you have to deal with it. Stop saying that like I'm not dealing with it. Your father leaving was just as devastating. But I did what I needed to do and got on with it. <laughs> and be sure to give yourself a big, sweaty, pony boy kiss for me. <sighs> Jerk. You will never let me forget my bachelorette party. <laughs> Joey, you're going to heaven for being my baby's friend. I hear Ben Franklin's hung like a racehorse. Oh my god. Please let me buy him as a souvenir. How long has what been? How long has it been? Sure. This is an American song dedicated to Halle. You have to stop wanting him at some point. I still think that one of us should swim ashore and should be the one of us who's already inflated. Oh, thank god you can still be in my wedding. And we're planning a New Year's Eve wedding. Should I just lick it off the counter then? No, I just, it's been a long time since I've seen a man that naked. I really want to buy what they just don't fit. No, how about going barefoot for a while? Sure. You have friends there. Family.
Sort of. Maybe I know The Kennedys? No, Rosie and Martin. Aside when that happens, the best friends, isn't it? Would you like me to tell you some stories about me and Jerry? I don't remember how old we were, probably, you know, 10, 11. We, uh, we jumped on a train. It's going slow enough. We received those packages you sent. It's not really a fault. I think you quite enjoy this getting lost, don't you? Do you mind if we uh, walk away together since we're going in the same direction? I have no idea what you were talking about. I must create a something or be enslaved by another man's something. And you can look at it or hear it or read it or feel it. Well, mind you, I was a few Guinnesses for the worst at this point, but a fella bet me that I couldn't get a certain girl to kiss me without provocation. There's nothing to it, really. A fella just has to tell a woman the truth without words. And what's the truth? That kissing her would be the end of life as I know it. Wow. What you need, you know, I want to be the bad guy. I bet you've had a hard time walking into a room full of people on your own, right? Every delay.